hopefully we're going to get through all of these five steps today. And if you only make it through the first four, that's fine. Remember, this is a two-day lab and it's going to get frustrating. It's going to get frustrating because it's not going to work perfectly every single time. And is that okay? What do you do when you get frustrated? You try again, yeah. There's a fine line on how far to push a student into an academic category or, you know, a certain skill. And that's okay. And that's just kind of, that's part of life, right? With the, today's lab, there were some challenging moments for some students who were getting frustrated. And so we kind of talked through some of those and, and um, just, you know, I try to explain to them and I try to give them real world uh, examples of, you know, when I've been frustrated and, and, and when things didn't work out, you know, the way I hoped it, that it would in, in different scenarios. There are always going to be challenges and you just got to push through those and there are different ways to push through those. But um, it's okay to get a little frustrated with this. And, and trying to just use personal stories uh, that I share with them a lot. Um, about my family and about myself to, um, to maybe help guide them through some of their struggles that they deal with on a daily basis. Remember I told you the story about Thomas Edison? You know how many times did it take him to try to develop a light bulb for the first time? Like over 2,000, right? And when all those reporters were asking him, how does it feel to have failed 2,000 times on a light bulb? His response was, I didn't fail 2,000 times. I just found 2,000 ways how to not make a light bulb. I, I try to help them be responsible um, to meet that rigorous um, uh, challenge in class, a rigorous expectation. Will balloons pop today? Yes, and that's okay. It's okay to mess up on this because man, we're dealing with tape, we're dealing with skewers, we're dealing with a lot of variables that could affect our outcome, and that's okay. But if it pops, no need to get frustrated, okay? What do you do when it pops? Pick up your pieces, throw them in the garbage, get another balloon, okay? have a bucket full of balloons up here. It kind of goes back into relationship building and can they trust me to know that I, that I care for them, I truly care for them, um, and that I want to see them succeed. And so I try to cheer them on during those small uh, successes that they might have. And so uh, you know, I try to high five them or, or you know, pat them on the back, say good job, and, and just words of encouragement uh, that help build that, that confidence to help them to see that, man, I got through this last step and that was, that was pretty tough. But, you know, my teacher's cheering me on and I know I can get through this next step. The culture of the, of the school uh, is important as far as student expectations. It starts with the superintendent um, establishing clear goals for our schools and for our school leaders. Um, and then that, that kind of uh, trickles down into the school administrators and their expectations for, for the teachers here in our building and also for the students. Um, and the students see that. They see the uh, expectations that, um, that our administrators expect for our teachers. All right, Connor, you can do it, buddy. And for the teachers to have uh, trickle that down into the, into the classrooms. All right, got one. We have a little bit of success. How many of y'all are getting a little frustrated right now? That's okay, right? In the lesson today, uh, we saw several kiddos that were, you know, that came up to me and they were like, I know I'm going to get it this time. You know, I know I can do it. And so going from a period of frustration to I know I can do this, that confidence building, man, it's just a, it's almost like a light bulb going off that, that, um, that I enjoy getting to watch and being a part of. It's just, it's fun. Oh, Eddie, nice. And also with, with building relationships with the students throughout the, throughout the school year, it helps me to know where their breaking point is, you know, as far as their temperament, um, and their, their academic struggles, uh, sometimes social struggles, and try to see where, where that breaking point is. <laughs> you tried the straw, it's frustrating, right? You know, I definitely want to challenge them, but I don't want to challenge them to the point where they're, they're breaking down out of frustration and wanting to give up. To help students deal with emotions, uh, especially during more challenging content, I try to break it down into smaller pieces. I think if you can break it down into simple steps, it makes it a little bit easier for the students to process, especially students who get overwhelmed easily and may have uh, anger, anger issues uh, with not knowing how to comfortably deal with, with challenges. So if you were frustrated today, imagine you know what engineers kind of go through uh, on a daily basis. It's a long process and sometimes it takes years and years to develop and use that technology in a successful way. So it's okay sometimes to stop the lesson for a minute and, and for me to, um, to kind of share with them how I was able to get through certain, certain trials. Every new technology just advances and it, you're always going back to that step two. 
Uh, step two of redesigning that solution, trying to come up with, a, uh, with another good idea. In today's lesson, I shared uh, about Thomas Edison, you know, trying to invent the light bulb. And over 2,000 tries, um, it had to be pretty frustrating, you know. And so some of these students got to see today how frustrating it could be to just not be successful after five or six tries. And once they have confidence, then sky's the limit. You know, when, they, when, when I see that their confidence level is increasing, then um, there, there's no boundary to their achievement. So some of you were pushed today. Some of you were pushed to the limit to the point where, man, that, there's got to be a way for this to work because some people are making it work, some people aren't. So, and that's good to challenge yourself. And that's kind of what you did today, man. You were, you were able to challenge yourself and, and find ways to be successful.